Good morning, my fellow VP blockers. You got you got Larry here. Beautiful Monday morning. Uh, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you have a comment, leave it in the, in the comment section. I'll try my best to get back to you. Quick disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a financial guru. I'm not a life coach. I'm not a therapist. I'm just a dumbass that made a lot of mistakes and don't want my blockers to go through it. So watch the whole video, make it through the whole video to the end, watch it on a long drive, on a toilet bowl, when you're home and no one's gonna interrupt you, watch it when you have time. Now, you clicked on the video because you wanted to see what you think my predictions are gonna be for 2022. Now, these are just my opinions. Uh, my opinions are people are going to move more from speculative investments to more value investing, meaning, you had a lot of IPOs that were launched in 2020 and 2021. You had Rivian and, uh, excuse me, I, I don't know many of them because I don't follow them, but you had the Dwok Fund, Rivian, um, uh, just a bunch of shitty IPOs that were launched because there was a lot of free money. And I think these people who were launching these IPO and SPACs knew they were free money. That's why they launched them. But as you know, there's no real free money coming out anymore, no stimulus. So I think we're gonna see less of those. Uh, people are still gonna invest in growth stocks, Apple, Microsoft, stuff like that. But I think they're gonna invest in that because they generally have a great product. They're not speculative. They know that that they're the, the leaders in technology and all this stuff and growth, they pay dividends. I think people are gonna move more towards value investing where there's dividends being paid for holding a great company. With that being said, I think that's when the rug will get pulled from Bitcoin. I think a lot of your cryptos are gonna take a hit in 2022. You got the government that's really trying to get involved in crypto. Now, how is something, they like to use these words, blockchain, um, decentralized. No, it's no longer decentralized. Um, your government is involved in it already because someone like, for example, Gemini, Coinbase, Robinhood. I don't know if Gemini is on a New York Stock Exchange, but Coinbase and Robinhood, they're publicly traded companies. When you trade with them crypto, they have to send a report to the IRS of each account holder that has these things. You'll get notified from Coinbase and Robinhood on your 1099 of what Bitcoin you may have, what Bitcoin you may sold. I don't know how much you have to claim after a certain amount, but the IRS is already involved. They're not going to let you make $2 million without getting their taste. So how is that decentralized? They're already in this. They're already involved. They're already in your pocket, just like everything else. So I think when people start to realize that, wait a minute, this isn't what it started out to be and it just sits there. I'm not gaining anything on it. It's only worth what the next person is going to, you know, pay for it. I think a lot of people are going to smarten up and they're going to move towards things that actually pay them, things that actually go up in value, things that pay dividends, things that appreciate. Um, I don't think we're going to have a super big crash. I think we're going to have crash days like stock market goes down 600 points, and then it goes up 400 points, and then it goes down 400 points, and it goes up 600 points. I think it's gonna be very volatile where you're always gonna have people that get spooked and sell, and you're always gonna have people that have money on the sidelines that buy the dip. Do I think it's gonna trend more downward for 2022? Yeah, I do. I think it's gonna go flat and low. I think there's a lot of uncertainty right now. You got the debt ceiling, crap still going on. You got the virus still around that people are spooked and they think when they catch a cough or a sneeze or they just don't feel good that they got, you know, the virus when in reality we still have colds and flus and sinus, you know, issues that are still around but people think they have the virus and they freak out. Um, I think you're going to have issues when it comes to the government tapering because a lot of people aren't aware that the government is purchasing $120 billion worth of bonds every month, pumping it into the market. I think they're going to taper that. I think you have interest rates that are going to go up. I think 2022 is going to be a very big year. And we also 
find out who's going to be running for our next presidency. So there's a lot of stuff going on for 2022. So I think 2022, if you're a person that wants to do a New Year's resolution, make it obtainable. Don't don't make it. I want to lose 200 pounds. I want to lose 10 pounds. Make small goals. Okay. First thing you should do is chip away at some of that debt. If you have debt, chip away at that credit card debt first. All that other debt, I'm telling you, chip away at the credit card debt. There's nothing out there that hits your hits your pockets more than credit card debt. Credit card debt will take between 10 and 30% of your money. Okay? So if you make the minimum payment of $100 and you pay 30% interest, $30 just went to interest already. And 70, 70 will went to your principal. So in my opinion, I would start with the credit card debt before you start investing, okay? For my long-term investors out there and my passive investors that are already doing the thing, good for you. I'm glad. Stay on that path. If there are some dividend stocks or any individual stocks you want to get in, look and make sure they have a huge market cap. Make sure they have a lot of cash on hand. They don't have a lot of debt, okay? You know, companies that have been around a long time that have paid a dividend a long time, you're dividend aristocrats, you know? If you want to know what those are, email me and I can, you know, I can give you some examples of stocks that I'm invested in. You know, don't feel like you have to accomplish everything in a month. Everyone, their first day of January 1st, they feel like they have to accomplish everything. I see people in the gym doing 90 different workouts. (laughs) You know, they're they're up bench pressing and they're running and they're they're doing it. You're going to burn yourself out and you won't make it to February. You'll last two or three weeks. Your body will be sore. You'll be beat up. You don't have a plan and you're done. You're no longer going to work out anymore. Go day by day. You still have 11 other months other than January. You still got February. You got March. You got April. Everything wasn't built in one day. You could take your time and do it, okay? Greatness wasn't made in 24 hours. So hope this video helps. If you need uh, any advice, I'll put my email in the description. Feel free to reach out. No regrets. Like, subscribe. A lot of you are not watching the whole video through, and you're not telling your friends about the video, and you're not recommending the video. If you're watching, please subscribe. I make great content like this all the time. No regrets. Get it.